Introducing MeshMaker VR! No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so, MeshMaker VR is like a vertex editor, and uh, here I am creating little vertices, and now I'm creating a face. And the way you do this is you go in a clockwise direction, and if you go in a clockwise direction, then the vertex normal of the face will face toward you. Uh, and the normal is that little uh, squiggly line on top. It's not squiggly, it's a straight line on the face. And if it's not facing towards you, then the face is uh, not visible, as, as I'm demonstrating right there. I created one that was going in the wrong direction. All right, and one of the other cool features is that you can get out of vertex editing mode here, and you can go into object mode. And in object mode, as I'm doing now, you can rotate your workpiece. And so this is great for when you want to reach or access the bottom of an object or whatever. And so you can treat the object just like you did before. You can delete vertices, you can move them around, you can create them, you can add faces, you know, whatever you want to do. Uh, and then the next cool thing that you can do is you can save uh, your, your object as a Wavefront OBJ file, and then you can load it up. So in the next segment, we're going to load up a Pikachu low poly model. All right, and here we are with our Pikachu model all loaded up. And the way this works is you just put uh, a file called load.obj into the same directory as the MeshMaker VR executable, uh, .exe file. And as long as you've done that, it should load up. And you have to do some pre-processing, like you have to usually make it smaller, and uh, sometimes you have to fl flip the vertex normals before you bring it in. But this particular Pikachu came from Thingiverse, and uh, I just loaded it up in Blender. And you can see here, it's got a cube on the inside of it, and that's actually a Blender cube. When I saved the OBJ file from Blender and exported it, uh, it left the cube in there. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the vertices of the cube. And so we can see you know, just how that process works. So I'm going down to the X, which is the vertex delete, and I'm just going to click on each individual vertex here. And you can see as you delete vertices, it deletes the faces as well. Now you can go back into object mode, and you can rotate your Pikachu. And there you go, there's Pikachu. So pretty cool. MeshMaker VR, check it out.